Are you someone who's frustrated with your day-to-day -day tasks? Or are you a student who's finding it difficult to complete all the tasks at hand? And most importantly, are you finding it difficult to manage all your tasks? Then this is the video for you. Like most of you, I think we're all frustrated with the kind of tasks we have at hand. And of course, like we all want to start our day to be as productive as we can. But as the day progresses, I think we are just getting stuck in this, you know, loop of activities or tasks which come into our plat. And then we are just like flat out, like, okay, what else can we do? Like, can we do something about it? And we are ending up getting frustrated. So don't worry, I think most of us are like this, but there are some few techniques which are scientifically proven. And if you start practicing them effectively, we can actually overcome this problem. So here we go with four prioritization frameworks, which I'm gonna talk in this video, which can significantly help you in overcoming this fatigue of not able to manage your tasks and you know set your priorities right. So without any further ado, let's get into the topic. So hello everyone, this is Kapil Reddy, founder and CEO of Zupali. So today as we discuss, we are going to talk about four prioritization techniques which can be of incredible help if you actually practice them quite well. The first technique which we're going to talk about is eat the frog. No, we literally don't mean it. Of course, it's the most disgusting thing, right? So what we actually mean, and then it comes from a quote which uh, was given by Mark Twain, where as per that, what he says is, if let's say as per your uh, job or task, you have to eat frog, do it first thing in the morning and do not wait for it uh, to, know, you know, to uh, get it done later in the day. The point we're trying to convey is, if you have a complex task, make sure you're getting it done right in the beginning. Do not keep it pending for later in the day because it can only get overwhelming once you keep pushing it. So that's the whole idea. So the first and foremost technique, make sure you finish whatever the task you feel is quite difficult for you. Just get it off your plate in the morning itself. I think that is the first step. So second technique is nothing but Eisenhower decision matrix. So here is the diagram of Eisenhower decision matrix. You have to divide your task into four different quadrants. So in the first quadrant, it's all about, you know, prioritizing your task based on the importance and the urgency of it. So as per the diagram, in the first quadrant, it's all about whether if you have a task which is important and urgent, just do it now. Do not postpone it or think about it. So for the second quadrant, if you think a task is important but not urgent, just plan it. Do not wait for it. Just plan it so that you can actually accomplish it moving forward. And the next quadrant is, if you think a task is not important but urgent, make sure you delegate it. And finally, if you think a task is not important, not urgent, make sure you delete it possibly. In this way, once you have your entire task list, you know, distributed into these four different quadrants, it's much more easier for you to actually prioritize your task and accordingly you can finish the task on time. This is one technique I think which has uh, brought a significant change in the way we work. Especially at uh, Zupali, we started using this framework and I think it is showing some incredible results. And we are only more excited to actually start using it and spread the word around on this particular framework, which has definitely helped us to a great extent. Next framework we're going to talk about is called chunking. So chunking is nothing but grouping of tasks together into, uh, you know, one particular set, particular chunk. For example, it can be, uh, let's say uh, you want to write a book or you want to write a blog. So that can be one chunk of your work. Or let's say, for example, there are some minute tasks, like for example, you need to reply to 10 emails or uh, you need to respond to some messages. Just club all of them together into one chunk and make sure you're time boxing that time and have no distractions so that you can actually get this chunk chunk of uh, work uh, completed. In this way, make sure you're dividing your work into different chunks so that every chunk, the moment you finish every chunk, you'll feel that you're just getting better at finishing the rest of the tasks. So in this way, I think it's going to, it's going to be super helpful once you start, uh, you know, grouping or chunking together all your tasks and then, you know, trying to accomplish and finish it. Finally, the most important uh, thing is communicate as much as you can, especially if you're working in a team or if you're working in a group. Because let's say you are working on a task and somebody is waiting for an update on it. Make sure you proactively go and tell them like, okay, this is what I am actually working on and uh, this is when I can actually finish it. Or let's say if the things are not getting done on time, make sure you communicate that. Because so that the other person is not, uh, you know, waiting for an update or he's just not, he or she is not just wasting time, uh, you know, like what exactly is happening. So for that reason, communication is very, very important and make sure you're quite proactive. Once you're uh, you know, uh, very good at communication, it will actually help you to prioritize your tasks and plan your day and your task ahead. Planning is something which can immensely be helpful for you to actually accomplish some of these tasks. 
and for that reason communication is the key and the more proactive you are at communication the better your day will be so these are certain things i think we 100% want to emphasize upon so just to conclude on uh, what all has happened as i told these are some uh, minute techniques again these are not too difficult of course we can also send you the uh, eisenhower uh, you know matrix diagram you can maybe take a screenshot of it and start prioritizing it and i'm sure there are like some applications which also help you so likewise even for chunking uh, let's say let's say you can have like uh, do not disturb option enabled on your phone so that you are away from all the distractions so as i told the world is getting busier by the day and we are just getting distracted by too many things there are so many companies which are uh, vying up for your attention and most of the applications are built in a way that they want to hook your attention or they want to grab your attention and it will end up in endless scroll which is definitely not productive for you so in order to make sure we are not getting drowned by it or let, let, let let's not get the apps take control over our life let's have control over our day and our life and for that to happen i think these are some basic techniques which you can 100% follow and then you will see a significant result so again and again i'll tell you i think uh, we've spoken a lot about productivity and i was always in that opinion that there's just unnecessary buzz around productivity but if you actually get really busy at your work or if you're feeling little frustrated or if you're getting exhausted trust me once you start practicing these productivity techniques you will see a significant difference and the energy levels will be on another level and you will completely appreciate and you'll have a lot of positivity around you and the kind of confidence you'll get is much much higher i think that itself will compensate for all the things uh, which you have not been doing so for that reason please try to be as productive as you can and these are all very basic techniques as told there's no unnecessary jargon or anything these are very simple basic techniques which anybody and everybody can follow so do spread the word around in your network as well so that they can also get benefited as told i am probably the first example where i've never believed in a lot of these things but once i started practicing them i think i could see a significant difference and that is the reason why i am endorsing so strongly on some of these prioritization techniques so that's it for uh, this week and uh, of course as i told zupil is all about learning and productivity and uh, going forward you will see number of different surprises and we are very excited as a team uh, to you know showcase you on this so join the waitlist so that you get to access the platform before anybody else does it until then uh, i hope you all have a great week ahead we'll see you next time thank you so much bye bye